up everybody i'm lockouts and in this video i'm going to show you how to put your computer into ultimate performance mode so that no matter what computer you're playing on you'll get the ultimate performance or the most performance you can get out of world of warcraft on your system Check this out. In a block in a sack of trees, you break it down, homie, and turn it to dubs of 50s, 50s. Sometimes I bet they make minimum wages when we pop the truck and dump the gauge of animals out of cage. In a fit of rage, snatching everything up to go and get paid. Snatching everything to go and get paid. Ain't no bullshit about my clear head. Literally a meal and my partners are sick. You know we dump quick. You only got one who really holds it down. All right, so basically guys, what you wanna do is you wanna be able to unlock all the cores in your processor for when, you're, when you are playing World of Warcraft. So no matter if you have a dual core or a quad core or an eight core or a 12 core, you wanna make sure that you have all of your cores unlocked in your CPU so that you World of Warcraft can access all cores. Now World of Warcraft does favor uh, highly single core performance, but with some changes into the game engine, you'll get a little bit more performance out of multi-core uh, processors now. So for the first thing that you want to do is go down into your search bar, all right, guys? And you want to type in uh, M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G, all right? And that's going to bring up your system configuration. You're going to get a little box that looks like this. When you get the box that looks like this, you're going to go over to the boot tab. You're then gonna click on the advanced options and then you wanna click the number of processors that you have right here, all right? So make sure that you check that and then go all the way down to however many processors that you have. I have 16, I've got a Ryzen 7 8 core 16 thread. So I've got 16 threads that I could select for Windows to use to put my computer into more performance, if you will. It gives uh, Windows a bigger access to a larger chunk of, or all of your CPU. And then in the box it says maximum memory right here. I do have 16 gigs of DDR4 3200 RAM, but you wanna leave this unchecked, all right? Cause you don't want Windows to have access to all of your RAM all of the time. So by, by checking this, you would give Windows 10 access to all of your RAM, which will limit some, it'll not distribute RAM accordingly for when programs want more of it. Windows will soak up more of your RAM. So uncheck this. Make sure that your number of processors are checked, and then no matter if you have two, four, six, eight, however many it is, select the highest number, click OK, click Apply, all right? When you do that, it's probably gonna make you want to reboot your computer, so go ahead and reboot your computer and come back into the video at, the, at that point. The next thing that you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go into your search bar again, and you're gonna wanna type in graphics, all right? and you're gonna get graphic settings that look like this. When you bring up graphic settings, you want to, Windows 10 has been changed in the last couple of patches and the last couple of Windows 10's updates, all right? This is as of March 31st, 2020, as of right now that I'm making this guide, all right? Um, so it used to be that this right here would mess with everything for you and it would turn different things on and off in Windows. Uh, what this does right now is it truly just shuts down a couple little simple Windows things. It's very mi minimal, but you might um, get a performance increase or you might not. So it's up to you on your system, depending on whatever computer it is that you have. So I don't know what computer it is that you have. So try it with it on, try it with it off. I have a Ryzen 7. Uh, a, a core 16 thread overclocked to 4 gigahertz right now with a Windforce um, 10, uh, GTX 1080. That's what I have right now that's in this system that you guys can see that's right here. And I have 144 hertz, 1MS Asus MG248Q monitor. I do run G-Sync for World of Warcraft because there is lots and lots of different variables. You don't really hold a consistent FPS and wow, it's all over the place depending on where you are. So with this on, I find that I get better performance. It's in World of Warcraft, all right? The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is go into right here where it says browse, and then you're gonna wanna find wherever you have World of Warcraft that's on your computer or any other game that's in, in your, on your computer for that matter, all right? And when you find World of Warcraft, you're going to go uh, add, it, add it right here. So add, add the launcher and then add the exe file wherever you have it on your computer. Go into options and then click this right here for high performance. Click save. Do it for both um, the launcher and the exe file, all right? The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is go right over to your World of Warcraft that you have that's on your desktop now, all right? 
Now, there's three different places that you could do this. Now, the first thing that you're gonna do, do this on is on your desktop, all right? So go to properties, go to compatibility, and I have this set for change settings for all users. You could set this for just you or for everybody that uses your computer or however it is that you wanna do it. So the first thing that you wanna do is click disable full screen optimizations. You wanna have this box checked right here. And then you wanna click change high DPI. You then want to click this box right here that says override high DPI scaling behavior, scaling performed by, and make sure application is selected. And then check this little box right here, click okay. And then click okay. Those are the two things that you wanna do for the your desktop all right and then find your world of warcraft just right click on it go to open file location and it'll take you right to the world of warcraft launcher do the same thing for that when you find it in there go to your compatibility go to disable full screen optimizations override high dpi scaling performed by application make sure that the box is checked and then go into where it says retail Go to World of Warcraft right here. This is the actual EXE file for World of Warcraft right here. Do this for this in here too. Go to compatibility, disable full screen optimizations, change high DPI settings, override high DPI scaling, perform by application. And you could do this for all users or just you. It does not matter, all right? Now, the next time that you go to load World of Warcraft, you'll see an instant performance boost if you're on a low end or a medium end system. All right. That right there will disable full screen optimizations from Windows 10 and, and other things like that. Uh, the next thing that you want to do, if you are an NVIDIA user, uh, I don't have uh, an AMD graphics card anymore. Uh, so if you have AMD you might be able to use a couple little things that I have that's in this. So go uh, open up your NVIDIA control panel. Make sure that you go into your control panel here. And then you want to go to your adjust image settings with preview. This is the first thing that you wanna do right here. So the first thing you wanna do is click on this box, slide it all the way over to performance, click apply, all right? When you click apply right there, it's going to change a bunch of things. And then you want to, after you click performance, you want to click the box that says use advanced 3D image settings. And then you go to manage 3D settings right here. And then you want to, you, this is up to you. If you have a lower end graphics card for NVIDIA, turn image sharpen all the way off. If you have a 1080 or better, it's up to you. You're going to get a performance decrease when you sharpen an image from any DX12 game, all right? So the way that I have this set up, guys, is I have ignore film grain, ignore film grain. I have that to zero, and I have image sharpening for World of Warcraft at 0.5. It's very little. Um, make sure that you have GPU scaling unchecked also, all right? Uh, that'll make your GPU do scaling to your uh, your monitor, and you want your monitor to be the display. You don't want your graphics card to be synced with anything else and it, have it do its scaling and all that. You'll get a performance loss if your graphics card is doing the scaling for your monitor. So make sure that your monitor is set to doing scaling, and we'll go over that in just a second. And another thing that you guys can do is to make sure that you have your main monitor selected and then go to no scaling, perform Perform scaling on display. Do not perform display scaling on your GPU. Perform not on your display. Make sure that this little checkbox is checked. Override scaling mode set by games and programs. Select your native resolution. If it's uh, 1920 by 1080 or 1440 or whatever it is you play in like this and then select your highest refresh rate that's available to you 144 whatever it is put that on there right there collect uh, select apply and go from there all right the next thing that you want is anisotropic filtering you want to have that set to application control right here uh, ambient inclusion you want that set to performance mode right here uh, anti-aliasing fxaa off gamma correction you want to on anti-aliasing mode you want to off um cuda gpus this is a super important one make sure you have this selected to all dsr factors so turn this off low latency mode this is another real important one now if you are running vsync and gsync at the same time you will see a performance increase but you might get a tiny bit of micro stutter if you start to dip under 60 fps in world of warcraft if you have this on ultra what this does is it will pre-render frames instead of uh, if you have it off, it'll just render frames to the max in the background, which will use up your graphics card's memory to the max. 
You don't want to do that. You always want to have a little bit of breathing room in your graphics card so that you don't end up with throttling and you don't have performance issues. The more stable that you can get your graphics card to produce frames, the more performance gain that you're going to see and consistent gameplay from your system. So by having it on to low latency mode, you'll see right here in a, its own description, on prioritize latency by limiting Q frames to one. If you select it to ultra, it prioritize latency to fully minimizing Q frames. In addition, this mode minimizes V-Sync and uh, minimizes latency when both V-Sync and G-Sync are enabled. So again, if you have V-Sync and G-Sync enabled to reduce tearing that's on your monitor, um, put it on ultra. If you are dipping under 60 FPS when you have this on ultra and you're getting micro stutters that's in your game because you have G-Sync enabled that's on your monitor, it's because you're dipping under the 60 FPS threshold. So turn it off of ultra and put it low latency to on. By selecting it to on, you only have, you have it limited to one, which is the natural way that we always had this set up anyways, was limiting our queued frames to one if you turn it to off again like i said you let your graphics card run wild and it might get hot on you uh, so the next thing is max frame rate turn that to off monitor technology if you have a g-sync com compatible monitor make sure that you enable g-sync here multi-frame turn this off uh, open gl rendering select your graphics card mine is a 1080 you can see here power management make sure that you this is another super important one um, optimal power adaptive or perform maximum performance we're talking about max performance so click max performance uh, the next thing that you want, this is for your monitor right here. Uh, if you have a 240 or 144 hertz monitor, make sure that you go into your display settings and you enable that. Uh, that way that you are able to get the highest available refresh rate from your monitor. You do not want application controlled, you want the highest available at all times. So if you get 100 FPS when you have G-Sync enabled or FreeSync enabled and your monitor down clocks to 100 FPS, you'll have the highest FPS down clock that your monitor will produce for you. Shader cache, make sure that you have this on. This will give you more performance. Texture filtering, anisotropic, anisotropic SAML optimization, turn this to on. Negative LOD bias, if you turn this to allow, you'll get uh, more performance. If you turn it to clamp, you, you might see a little bit of shimmering. So if you see shimmering that's in games or something like that, when you have this to allow, turn it to clamp. If you have like uh, 970s or 980s or 1060s or even 1050 Ti's or whatever it is, if you're getting shimmering in your games, turn it to clamp. You might see a performance increase. Try it on allow. Try both of them back and forth. Uh, texture filtering quality, turn this to high performance. Trilinear optimization on. Threaded optimization on. Triple buffering off. V-Sync off. Um, again, if you are running V-Sync with G-Sync, turn it to ultra if you experience micro stutter turn uh, your pre-rendered frames to one if you are still experiencing micro stutter disable v-sync all together and live with wherever the tear is um the next thing that i want you guys to go and do is to go into let's see here set up no i don't want to save any changes because mine are good Set up G-Sync, so if you guys have G-Sync, World of Warcraft does not run in an all-exclusive full-screen mode. So make sure that you enable for windowed and full-screen mode because it runs in a, in a windowed fake full-screen. That's how WoW runs. So enable it for windowed full-screen mode and then um, so that you do get NVIDIA's monitor settings. Uh, check this little box right here. Um, if you are seeing our artifacting or if you're having experiences, bad experiences with your G-Sync, try to uncheck this box, restart your system, see if it improves performance. If not, just leave this checked. Um, some people get performance gains because they have the wrong monitor settings from whatever it is from their drivers and stuff like that. So again, it's up to your system. Check this, don't check this, run it back and back and forth, all right? The next thing that you want to do is go into your video color settings. Um, I have my saturation because of my monitor and the way that everything is, it's a little bit washy. So I have my saturation turned up three uh, to 53%. And then in your video image settings, make sure that you have this all checked to use NVIDIA settings, NVIDIA settings here. Um, and let's see, what else can we get into? All right, so that, that's pretty much it before you even get into uh, World of Warcraft, all right? The next thing that you guys want to get is going to be um, like a program that's called Quick CPU or something that's like Quick CPU. 
Um, that way that you are, you know that you have all of your cores that's within your system unlocked. And Quick CPU, it looks just like this. Uh, it just is something that tells you and registers all of your um, cores that are enabled. So I have 16 cores. I have eight threads, 16 cores that's in this right here. All right. And what this does basically is your frequency scaling index. You can see it right here is at 100%. Your core parking index is at 100%. Turbo boost index is at 100%, all right? The reason, and then your system power plan, ultimate performance. That's the next thing that we're gonna get into, all right? Um, so if, if, try to find quick CPU or something that's like this. Make sure that your core parking index is at 100. Turbo boost, turn all this stuff to 100. Click apply, system power plan click all of them are performance. So if you want to use quick CPU, I'll have a link for this down in the video description down below. Go ahead and, and download, install it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and enable ultimate performance that's in our power settings now. So the next thing that you guys want to do is go down into the search bar right there and click power. You're going to get a little thing that says edit power plan just like this. Click on it. All right. Now, if you do not have the ultimate performance power plan setting enabled in your computer, what you're going to have to do from here is Google somebody or YouTube another guy's video because it's a whole nother tutorial, all right? It's a whole nother thing separate from what I'm doing right here. So if you want to know how to put your computer into ultimate performance instead of just a higher performance mode, to get this setting right here, this is for higher end or even lower end settings, dude. Like if you got a shitty computer or whatever it is, try this, try ultimate performance. So YouTube right now, Windows 10 ultimate performance, how to put it in there. And you're gonna have to do a couple of bias settings and tweaks and stuff like that. Restart your computer and then you'll have the ultimate performance power plan um, re um, available for you, all right? so. When you get your ultimate uh, plan, you're gonna go into power options. I guess we'll start right here. So these are your power, basic power plans right here, okay? You have AMD Ryzen, you got a balanced one, you have a high performance one, which favors performance, and then you got a power saver one, and then you have an ultimate performance one, which is the one that I'm talking about right now, and this provides ultimate performance on higher end PCs, even lower end PCs. If you got a lower end PC, run this, this will help you. If your, if your PC is getting hot on a lower end PC, just run the higher performance one then and take off the ultimate performance or add more fans to your computer to cool her fucking down, right? So when you get ultimate performance enabled, you wanna click on your change plan settings, turn off display, put that to never, put the computer to sleep, never. I don't ever want my baby to go to sleep because usually when I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here. And when I'm not at my computer, turn it off. There's no need for it to be sitting there running anyways. Um, next thing is click on change advanced power settings. You wanna go to your hard disk, turn this off zero. All right, the next thing that you want is your wireless adapter settings if you're playing on wi-fi um i don't recommend playing wi-fi ever but if you are and if you have to i understand hey man do your thing make sure that you click maximum performance right here uh the next thing is your sleep go to sleep put this on never wake timers if you want to have wake timers on go right ahead and have your wake timers on uh, the most um, important setting that's in here is going to be in your processor management. That's going to be min minimum processor state. You want to make sure that this says 100. And then your maximum processor state, you want to make sure that that says 100. Next thing that you want is your system cooling po uh, policy. You want that to be active. Now what this do will do is make sure that your processors are running at 100% all the time. Not that you're having 100% usage on your CPU, just that you're getting 100% performance at all times. So even if you're sitting there watching a tiny video, you are ultimate performance. So no matter what you click on, you're getting the most performance out of your computer. And this goes for when you're playing World of Warcraft, because World of Warcraft takes advantage of all of these settings right here that we're talking about. It takes this much, guys, to get WoW to run better than just what it normally normally is anyway. Uh, the, this should be done for all of your video games, no matter if you're playing Apex Legends, Call of Duty, um, Fortnite, dude, like the, these settings will help you in all games and you'll get a performance boost across all platforms, no matter what game it is. This is what I run. All right. So there's two little programs that I want to talk about right here. If you are on Intel or you are talk, uh, if you are in on Intel or are you on a Ryzen or an AMD system, all right? Um, if you're on an older system, there's one that's called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. All right, ISLC. And when you get it, it looks like this, all right? 
And you can set this one up so that it'll purge your memory every time you have less than however uh, amount of memory. So if you only have like 8 gigs of RAM and your computer is constantly getting swallowed up and using up all of its RAM, Windows is using up a lot of it, um, your game's using up a lot of it, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner will purge Windows uh, processes that are in the background all the time and keep your RAM free all the time for you. So if you have, say, 8 gigs and you want this to be cleaned at 2,000, you know, set it for 2 gigs, all right? Um, set this to wherever you're, set this at 1,024. You can keep this one at 1,024 right here. And then just whatever you want your RAM. So when your RAM is cleaned up, set your megabytes and whatever your gig amount is right here. So when, like if you have 8 gigs, you know, you want it to be cleaned when it's lo lower than 2 gigs, right? You want to free that up and it'll purge your memory system. And then you just click on the start, uh, ISLC polling, uh, 500 or a thousand you don't need to go any higher than that anything more than this and it's just going to make your computer go nuts with trying to freaking clean the ram and monitor the ram usage in your computer at all times all right so then just click start all right now there is a timer resolution that is right here and you can put that at 0 0.50 all right it is recommended that you use 0 0.50 especially if you're running a g-sync monitor i also use timer resolution that is another program that you guys should get right here so no matter whatever your default is when you click maximum you end up at 0 0.50 right here with this and this right here you have a guaranteed sync lock time rate of 0 0.50 if you're seeing numbers that say 0.499 or 0 0.501 or anything that is not 0.50 Five zero. When you get timer resolution or you use intelligent standby list cleaner, if you, you get any number that's in here that's not an exact hard number of 0 0.50, like if you're seeing other numbers, 0.499, etc., that means that your Windows 10, when you updated it, has got an artificial timer in your Windows setting, okay? And what you need to do then is now go to YouTube, where you're at right now, Type up in the search bar. Make sure you come back to my video and finish this too. Or after this, you could do that. Look for um, Windows 10 HPET, and that's High Precision Event Timers. And Windows 10 has got its own High Precision Event Timers, which overwrites your defaults that are in your BIOS and your registry and all kinds of shit. So you end up, if you're getting lag and stutter, whether or not it's in World of Warcraft, Apex, whatever it is, this right here will make the timers in your Windows be fixed so again figure out uh, a good guy that that you're gonna find um, Windows 10 HPE timers and he'll show you how to go bring up the command list and disable the Windows 10 timers so that when you do set your timer resolutions you get the hard um, milliseconds of 0 0.50 and stuff like that again that's a whole nother tutorial guys these are things that I'm telling you that you should do so that you get the best performance out of your computer no matter if you're running on a dual core intel or old amd a8 or whatever it is and you got a, a higher end rig like i do right now okay or even if you've got you know monster monster computers that are even better than my ryzen 7 here so no matter what windows 10 uh, has fake artificial timers in it again Find a good dude uh, for Windows 10 HPET high precision event timers. Find out how to disable them and enable your own event timers. Okay, guys. Uh, the next thing that you guys want to get that I that I run is uh, CPU ID hardware monitor. It's Cupid hardware monitor. So HW monitor. This is what I run right here, guys. This right here just gives me my processors. Um, temperatures my temperature inside my case my temperatures that are on my vrm stuff like that it'll tell me how much power that you're using it'll tell you that your current um, processors utilization it'll tell you your core clocks and stuff like that it'll tell you all of your hard drives the temperature of all your hard drives that are in there it'll also tell you your graphics card and all your information that's on your graphics card so again if you want to monitor your performance that's within your computer this is an awesome program i highly recommend cupid hardware monitor hw monitor it is an awesome program that i use all right 
so jumping over here into world of warcraft guys these are just a couple quick settings um when you go into your graphic settings right here make sure that you have it on full screen windowed make sure that you have if you have multi-monitor set up make sure that you check the uh your main monitor turn anti-aliasing off turn your v-sync off um turn some of these settings down right here guys your view distance and ground clutter environment detail these are going to give you some of the big biggest performance gains along with ssao uh project the textures try to keep this enabled if you have a super Super low end system you might want to turn it off although you're not going to be able to see a lot of stuff that's on the ground uh texture filtering texture res this is up to you guys again this is up to you for your settings make sure that you have your resolution scale set at 100 percent don't downgrade or go above this because then this is going to affect all the other performance settings that we have that um we already are overriding within the desktop and within the exes in the uh, advanced settings guys just uh turn triple uh buffering to uh, off i have mine capped right now at 60 fps for this video it's a lot easier to render a 60 fps video when everything is 60 fps versus me having a hundred couple hundred fps and my frames being all over and trying to re-encode that back down to 60 frames so that's why you see mine locked here so you could lock yours or you don't have to lock yours do whatever you want to do turn your contrast up and down your brightness settings here um, your graphics API, make sure that you have that sec selected to DX12. If you have a lower end graphics card that's like, say, a 760 or like a 700 series graphics card or uh, AMD equivalent or something like that, um, run DX11. You might see a performance gain by selecting DX11 or even DX11 Legacy. So go ahead, try that. It might be up to you guys. Uh, it's up to your system. I don't know what you have that's in your computer, right? Uh, for your graphics card, instead of auto detect, make sure that you hard detect your own graphics card so that you're forcing World of Warcraft to detect your GPU. Um, these are the best settings that I that I find that gives me the best performance and the most stable performance for no matter what city I'm in, whether or not I'm raiding, I'm playing PvP, I'm in BGs, I'm running Mythic Keys. Uh, this helps me on my Ryzen system. This helped me when I had an AMD FX 8350, an older AMD system that predates this one. Same stuff, guys. I just moved it all over into this system. I didn't need it all at first, but you know, as time grew and I've had this computer for over a year now, uh, I. I still am optimizing my computers even though I have a higher end system now so no matter you have a lower end system a medium end system or super high end system these settings will help you get more performance out of your rig like World of Warcraft or any other game for that matter uh, leave your comments below please like follow subscribe we're almost to a thousand baby we're right there so help a fella out click the button do it it's right over there right now and uh, I'm lockout peace yeah. Hey, won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Doc out for buying the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind one minute at a time. And YouTube is helping the homie with everything that you see. With everything that you see. Take your mouse and go with that button and click it, baby. Subscribe, Blackouts 2020. Let's go!